the first major points of the World Championship on lock. Veronica Vindish there. She's been solid all day long. She won a Riders Cup. There's Jacqueline Legere, two time reigning world champion. Right next to her, Amanda Trunzo, so close last year. She definitely wants it. She's going to be motivated. And of course, Miriam Trepanier, the winner here last year. Can she do another win and gain some good points on the World Championship for herself? Let's see how it breaks down. Here we go. Great start. We're both sitting right on the edge of our seat here as these ladies get out right away. It is Amanda Trunzo and Jackie Legere shoulder to shoulder going into the BF Goodrich grip turn. But it's Amanda Trunzo who comes out with a slight advantage. It's not massive heading towards the Hyundai N section. Jacqueline Legere staying close. Amanda Trunzo with a good lead. Miriam Trepanier sitting back in third. Legere biding her time, wanting to make sure she gets over that wall clean. Now it's about a foot race. It's going to go to Amanda Trunzo. Trunzo though. does it. She does it. She Woo! wins here in St. Paul. And that's a monkey off her back. And look who's happy. She is fired up. Absolutely fired what up. Man, girl. she is stoked. What a great race by Trunzo. That's what happens when you put in the work right there. Success comes. After literally that wall you see behind you costing her the world championship last year, what a rebound in St. Paul. That is fantastic, a great rebound. Third place for Miriam Trepanier, second place for Jacqueline Legere, and Amanda Trunzo with the win. Plus a dead even start, maybe a little bit going to Jacqueline, but then they all hit this drop down instead of taking the jump. Somehow it looks like Trunzo gets a little better positioning on the corner and then from her, from there was all Trunzo. The way I see it, it was Jacqueline Legere and Miriam Trepanier with a really solid start. They were slightly ahead of Trunzo, but Trunzo's skating ability and the power in her legs just was the advantage maker for her there. Yeah, she's got a hell of a stride in her. Really taking the corners nice, carrying her speed through the Hyundai N section. Watch her dropping off the drop, really nice. But Jacqueline wasn't giving her much room. Right here, I thought Jacqueline was gonna be able to make a nice pass on the inside. Around this corner, Trunzo just kept her speed. There we see him coming off the dyno bridge. Trunzo staying clean, even. On for the win. A great transition over that final corner hit by Miriam Trepanier as well, which just uh, gave her a little bit of extra speed to the finish area. Now, I said that Miriam had third. I'm not really sure now. That might come down to photo finish. Uh, Miriam managed to put on the brakes, but look how close that is. She put on the brakes at the finish line, so that might have actually gone to Veronica Vindish there. Oh my goodness, look at that. It does look like it's gonna be Miriam Trepanye even with the brakes on. Holy smokes, folks. No, wait, that's hard to tell. That looks like it might be the snow spray that's actually crossing the line. We'll have to get a call from the judges on that. All right, well, we got Amanda Trunzo down with Bree McShane. Amanda, congratulations. How was that race for you? Oh, it was incredible. There's a lot of great girls in that heat with me, and to come out on top in front of this home crowd, super excited. You certainly have the crowd behind you. Who have you got here watching today? Oh, friends, family from everywhere, the home crowd in general. Thank you so much, Minnesota. Congratulations, thank you so much. A well-deserved win by Amanda Trunzo. She uh, receives the trophy for first place here at the Red Bull Crash Dice opening event of the 2018 season in St. Paul, Minnesota. Fantastic, and uh, she's gonna be really happy and celebrating that one tonight. Now, just going back to our positioning, it does look like it's official. Veronica Windisch did come across that finish line in third place.